How's it going, y'all? So I'm going to show you a quick, you know, lineup that I'm working on. Uh, this 98 Lincoln Town Car. Changed out the uh, upper ball joints, uh, steering, you know, tie rods and all that. Changed those out. On this one, uh, just uh, did a little rewiring on the trunk. I did not do the setup, so it already came like that. The car originally came from uh, Missouri. All I did was just rewire the solenoids. I always put an inline fuse for the switch. I always do that. <clears throat> I changed out the dump, uh, half inch dump. You know, uh, shout out to a uh, homeboy from uh, G Money Chronicles on YouTube. Look him up, name's Gilbert. Uh, he hooked it up with the blow through uh, dump. He tricks out and coats my motors and breaks them in for me. I could do it myself, but I let him, you know, do his thing. <clears> That's <throat> a number nine Marsachi to the front. Um, what I did, I ported it or bored it, however you want to call it. I tricked out the gear. That was way better. And that's all I did. Originally, this is how the setup came, you know. All I did was just change the dump, trick out the gear, homeboy tricked out the motor, and I just rewired the solenoids and added another solenoid to the front pump. It only had three, I added, you know, the fourth one. It does good. <clears throat> only downfall in this car is the springs all the way around, they're four tons or four and a half tons. They're too stiff, rise like shit, of course. I did mention to them to get accumulators for the rear and the front to downgrade the three and three quarter ton and you know it will hop better. Since it's not a full wrap frame and he don't have a piston to compress those springs. If he would have had a full wrap frame, that's a little bit more weight. Or if he would have had a piston, but easiest way, just swap out the coils, break them in and you're good. Another one of my personal favorites is uh, 84 uh, Buick Regal. This is a <clears throat> little street hopper. The, this Lincoln is from uh, Pasadena, Texas. This Regal is from uh, Spring, Texas, about an hour or so away. Nice LS swap. Same guy that did his LS swap is gonna do my LS swap on my Regal. You know, clean interior, patterned out roof. This one is uh, three pumps, eight batteries, piston to the nose. Same thing on this one. <clears throat> Has a uh, number nine Marsachi. You know, all I did was just change out the seals, uh, ported out the gear, ported it, bored it, however you want to, you know, take it as. <clears throat> tricked out the gear, the motor's getting tricked out. And, you know, doing little, little extra stuff here and there. I'm going to be adding helper springs on this. So, see what it does. I do have a before video on this, and I'm going to do it after. Once this one's done. <clears throat> For all y'all Cadillac guys. 79 Cadillac. Le Cab. Le Cab. You know. Original top. A guy bought this uh, over there in uh, Savannah, Georgia. About 10 years ago. So this one is going to be a full full frame off. So if you want updates on this one, let me know. What I can do is um, as I'm working on it, I can post videos here and there or little shorts on the 79. But that one's going to be full frame off, 
full rat frame, trying to talk him into doing uh, do whammies, because he has a whammy tank and then he wants to add something to the front. So it's really not gonna look nice and symmetrical when you have a regular piston and a whammy. So I'm thinking do whammies, you know, will do right, will look right too in the trunk. Oh, and his whammy is engraved and everything, so. Some batteries for Impala I'm doing. <clears throat> so this is, uh, like I said, I don't have a big fancy shop. I used to do everything out of my backyard, you know, but, you know, I needed more space. This is, you know, one of my bays Got all the cars that are next in line. This Lincoln, you know, I knocked it out pretty quick. Let me go ahead and show you real quick. Yeah, if you're wondering what that noise was, there's I left some parts in the trunk. It's probably what knock. <clears throat> I, like I said, I did not do this car. All I did was just little minor rewiring here and there. But I mean, it's a nice setup. He does have uh, his bridge is bowing already, so he wants to get that replaced later on. So go ahead and work on that. It has a nice little lockup. And before he leaves, I need to adjust the rear slowdowns. One side goes down faster than the other. Yeah, right side, left side goes down faster. <clears throat> so, I mean, you know, just a little something of what I do and I have plenty of videos. I don't have the time to post everything up and especially all the editing, but I do have a lot of cars that I've done and I do everything myself. So it's not like, oh man, I got a shop. I got employees and all that. No, I do <clears throat> everything from the fabricating, the grinding, the welding, the mold, you know, if they want it molded, I gotta mold everything. It's a lot of work, man, you know, for one person, but I try my best. I like it. And all I can do is keep going, man. So that's one. This is the one I'm trying to get ready. This is uh, my dirty bay, so. 6-2 deuce. So originally came, I have pictures of this one as well. Four pumps, eight batteries, all the batteries were no good, didn't hold charge. So this one's gonna be hot. You know, I just finished uh, doing the partial on the rear, inside, outside arches. Um, since it's a C channel from the arch all the way to the bumper, it's not a Canadian frame. I went ahead and boxed that in. And then the front, I did inside spring pockets, outside uh, spring perch. This is where I do all my welding, my fabricating, my grinding. So it, it stays dirty even though you try to clean every time after you work. It ain't ever going to be clean. So outside spring perches are reinforced. Inside spring pocket is done. On this one, the driver's side ear uh, broke, so I went ahead and fixed that and reinforced it. Just the driver, passenger one's still good. Still has a lot of metal on it. This one, whoever popped the hose, driver's side, they, it was barely holding on. So yeah, and here's my Regal, you know, P2 
people asking me updates. Here it is, man. I'm waiting. A uh, few more things. Then I'm going to take it, get LS swapped, and go from there. I am trying to get this one out for April. I'm going to see what happens. So stay tuned on this one, man, because I have a lot of stuff I need to do to it. And I'm not building this one to drive around town. This one's actually, I'm really going to be driving it state to state as well.